I am Uncle Sam FM, and I am doing a little extra video to my Playing MLS and Football Manager 2020 series. And what I thought I would do with this episode is look at some of the extra screens that you have when you play in Major League Soccer. So first of all, and this is probably the screen that I use the most frequent, frequently when managing an MLS, is the league-specific finance screen. So if you look on the left, just like any other club, you've got this tree of menu items. If you go to finances and you go to league specific, it shows you all of your assets as an MLS club. It, it organizes it onto this one screen. And there may be some other leagues that have a league specific finance screen, but obviously when playing in MLS, it's pretty important. It shows you, first of all, this, your salary cap situation right here on the left. You can see the overall league salary cap, which in the first year is $4.24 million. And then you can see where your team sits as far as their cap spending is concerned. In this example, I have started with the Houston Dynamo, and they, have three, they are spending $3.62 million in salary, which is below the salary cap. Look at the this little item here on the right it tells you how much salary cap space that you have left with the players that you have on your squad right now the dynamo have six hundred eleven thousand dollars that means they could sign a senior squad player for that amount and still be under the salary cap so obviously that's a pretty important figure to be able to see and i like to go to the league specific finance screen to see it and if you move on down here on the left, you see your player slots situation. First of all, you see the number of designated player slots that you have occupied. And right now, the Dynamo have two. And then you see the number of club designated player slots available. Now, it says zero, but you can also sign a young designated player in MLS, a player who is 23 years or younger, which if you would have watched the other videos, you would have seen. And the Dynamo do have one young designated player contracted. So they actually have three designated players total with one young designated player. And then you can also see the number of generation Adidas players that you have. And right now the Dynamo have zero. And then you can see the number of homegrown players that you have on your squad. And the Dynamo at this time have three. So that kind of gives you an idea of, your, of how your player slots are allocated. And then if you move to the right, you'll see your transfer funds. Now, right now, the Dynamo have a remaining $1 million worth of transfer funds, and that is their team transfer funds for the season. So you kind of you can kind of see how well you've done. Are you spending more than what your transfer funds allowed for? Are you bringing in more? So that's a good little uh, graphic that shows that. And then you can look down at general allocation money. I talked about this in one of the previous videos as well. And right now, the Dynamo have the league uh, allowance of 425000 And obviously, as you spend that, that will go up, or if you trade, or sorry, it will go down. And if you uh, acquire it through trade or so on, then that will, number will go up. Uh, it says right, it tells you how much you started the season with, it tells you how much you've traded in, tells you how much you've traded out, and then awarded as prize money. For example, winning the Open Cup. Uh, qualifying for the Champions League, so on and so forth. So you can just have an idea of how well you're doing as far as general allocation money acquisition. Do you want to try and just spend it all in one season? Would you like to try to accumulate it to prepare for next season? You can kind of get an idea of how you're doing in that regard in this area. And then as you move down, same thing with targeted allocation money. Right now, I have zero targeted allocation dollars, and that will restart in the 2020 season right now this is i've this is a right at a fresh start save so in 2020 i will have 2.8 million targeted allocation dollars and then i can also see how many i've uh, traded for how many i've traded out so on and so forth so this is a very helpful screen for an mls manager and, and football manager where you can come and see how you're doing financially seeing the uh, your transfer um, budget is not enough when you're managing an MLS team. You need to be able to see all of these figures to kind of know where you are uh, financially as a club, with especially when it comes to league play. So there's a couple of other interesting screens. If you go to the transfers menu, 
You also have draft allocation. And here you can see your, tw your uh, super draft picks coming up in the college super draft. So right now the Dynamo have their full allotment of uh, four picks in each draft. And it also gives you this little button here that you can push and offer it to other MLS clubs. Let's just say you're wanting to get rid of this third round pick to see what you can get for it. So you can hit the offer to MLS clubs button and you hit the offer to clubs and you can see what comes back. Now that it'll come back um, in a news item like anything else. Um, but that's you know kind of a helpful screen to see where you are with your draft allocations. And then another tab in the transfer menu is the offer to MLS clubs tab. And this is if you're just wanting to offer somebody, maybe you've got a player that you would like to try and trade away. Maybe, maybe the Dynamo want to try and trade Matthias Vera. So you can put that there and you can hit offer to clubs just like I did with the draft and see what clubs are interested in what they're willing to give for Matthias Vera. Maybe starting off a negotiation where you're trying to offload a player and you know, maximize your, um, your income for that. You can also add player rights. I discussed this for a time in the last video. Here you'll see a list of players who are no longer with your club, but you do still own their MLS rights. So, for example, Luis Garrido left the Dynamo a couple of years ago, but the Dynamo owned his rights. So you can try and see if there's any clubs out there who would like to attempt to sign Luis Garrido and then see what you can get for his player rights. Um, you can also offer draft allocations, including your super draft picks. You can offer international slots, um, as I said in the last video, up from one to five years or permanent. So you can uh, hit the offer to clubs button and see what clubs are willing to trade for one of your international slots. This is a very helpful screen for me. I'll just explain how I use it the most. If I have a player that I am trying to get rid of, I'll start here. I'll come to the offer to MLS club screen and um, offer him out just to see what clubs are interested and try to get rid of him. I especially use it if I've got a player that um, he's surplus and I need to get under the salary cap, but I don't want to just waive him. I want to see if I can find if there's any clubs out there that will give me literally anything. Like if I'm just looking to get a third or fourth round draft pick, so be it. Um, I'll toss that out there. More often than not, nobody's interested, but it's definitely a good place to start and where you can find out what clubs are interested in some of your assets that you're maybe trying to offload. Maybe maybe you've got a couple of international slots open and you know that you're not going to fill those slots. Those are usually very valuable assets, so you can offer those out for a year and see who is willing to, to uh, offer you some assets that you would like to have. So that's just a real quick video on some of the extra screens that you have uh, in, on, in the club menu. Uh, I will sign off now, and if you do have any questions about any of these, please post them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can.